All right, let's talk about dilations today. Dilations is a type of transformation and it changes the shape by shrinking or enlarging it. Up at the top of the screen, you can see two different triangles and it can start with a small one and enlarge to be a big one or it can go backwards and start big and shrink to be small. So we're gonna look at three examples of that in this video. So an image can be made bigger or smaller, is what I'm going to fill in. An image can be made bigger or smaller using a scale factor. That's going to be an important word. The scale factor will either be a whole number or a fraction. The scale factor will tell you how much the original image will be changed by. The scale, if the scale factor is a whole number, the image will enlarge. If the scale factor is a fraction, then the image will shrink. And I want to be give you just a little bit more on this. The fraction has to be less than one or a proper fraction. So no improper fractions. If the fraction is less than one whole, then it will shrink. I need to specify that. Okay, example one, there's a triangle. And uh, the points are labeled A, B, and C. And if you're in my class, I'm super sorry. I forgot if I labeled uh, B or C this way. But for video's sake, we're going to go A, B, and then C. Um, what would be the new coordinates if the image was dilated by a scale factor of 2? So if you remember in the last slide, it said the scale, the scale factor is going to be the amount the shape is changed by. So this one... The scale factor is a whole number, and I just got through saying on the last slide that if it was a whole number, the new shape would enlarge. Whole numbers make the new shape get bigger, okay? So underneath, there's a table, and our purpose is to find the coordinates of the new image. I don't necessarily have to draw it on here, but it wants to know what the coordinates are of the new dilated figure. I'm going to fill in what the ordered pairs are for A, B, and C. For coordinate A, it would be 1, 3. For coordinate B, for the position I have it in, would be 1, 1. And for C would be 3, 1. And hopefully it's that way on your video if you have notes from my class. So the way scale factor works is you take whatever the scale factor value is and you multiply each number in the ordered pair by the scale factor. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to multiply. So on the middle row where it says scale factor, it's told me it's a 2. The way I'm going to write it algebraically is going to look it's going to show that I'm timesing by 2. So my rule would be 2 times whatever the x value is and then 2 times whatever the y value is every time. 2 times whatever the x value was, 2 times whatever the y value was. 2x, 2y. It means a scale factor of 2. And the original image would just be xy. Okay? So, now looking for what the new coordinate would be, I'm going to take whatever the x value is originally, and I'm going to times it with 2. So, basically, I'm just doubling every number. The new values would be, instead of 1, 3, I would get 2, 6, 
because 1 times 2 is 2 and 3 times 2 is 6. And the coordinates for B would now be 2, 2. And the coordinates for C would be 6, 2. Now, if you really needed to go graph it, you could, but this picture, um, the directions, it was just asking for the new coordinates, so then you're done. The second one has a square, and it's labeled A, B, C, D, and again, I think that's the way it is on your notes in your uh, binders. Um, what would be the new coordinates if the image was dilated by a scale factor of one-third? So we have a fraction this time. And if the scale factor is a fraction, the shape is going to shrink. A fraction makes the shape shrink. The scale factor was one third. Okay, so shrink it is. I'm going to do this just like I did the last one. I'm going to fill in the ordered pairs right here for their original image. Remember, their original image is just going to be X, Y, whatever the current values are. And then the scale factor will write the rule um, according to what it says. So on point A, it's negative 2, positive 2. B is positive 2, positive 2. C is positive 2, negative 2. And D is negative 2, negative 2. Okay, scale factor is 1 third. Scale factor is always going to be multiplied by the X and Y value. I'm always going to multiply. Always, 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 always going to multiply. If I want to write the rule for this scale factor, I would write one third x, one third y. And it's going to be the same all the way throughout. One third x, one third y. One third x, one third y. Whatever the values were, I'm going to end up just taking a third of them, and the shape's going to get super duper tiny. Now down on the bottom row, it says I need the coordinates for the new image. And notice they have apostrophes next to them. That signals that it's the image after the dilation. And I'm going to look negative 2. A scale factor of one-third so negative two times one-third that's pretty easy but if this was a hard one I would just type it in my calculator but that's um, super easy so if I have two groups of one-third that just makes two-thirds so the new coordinate I think I need to make this bigger so I can actually write on it okay the new coordinate for a is going to be negative two-thirds and the y, if I do 2 times 1 third, is just 2 thirds. Then I'm going to skip over to b. Okay, positive 2 times 1 third is just 2 thirds. So they made this one super easy. And then again, 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds. And point c also has a positive 2, so that would just be 2 thirds. And then and see, it says negative 2 for the y value. So negative 2 times 1 third is negative 2 thirds. And finally, in pair um, D, they're both values of negative 2. So they would now turn into negative 2 thirds. Okay, last example, it says without using a diagram, find the new coordinates if the image was dilated by a scale factor of three. Dilated by a scale factor of three. 
So all this means is that I need to multiply all the values, both x and y, by 3. The original image is always algebraically labeled as x, y. And then whatever the scale factor is, that numer numerical value is going to go in front of the x and y signaling multiply. Okay, so my rule is going to be 3x because I'm multiplying by 3 and then 3y. Whatever the values are, 3 times x, 3 times y. It's dilating, it's getting 3 times bigger. So 3x, 3y. Now, the new image, if I look at point A, it used to be 5, 7. I'm going to multiply these both by 3's. And then my new image should now turn out to be 15 for the x value and 21 for the y value. Then letter B, the new coordinates would still be 15, but the y value would now be 6. And then the last coordinate for C, 3 times 1 is 3, and then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And you have to make sure you get that negative sign in, otherwise the point will go somewhere else on the graph.